Hey everyone, this is Julia from Crocoblock and in this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a login form with the help of the chat form builder user login add-on. Besides, I will also demonstrate how to add and set up reset password fields, so stay tuned. If you are new to our channel, please make sure you are subscribed and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Also, if you want us to make more cool and useful tutorials, like this video and leave your comments down below. Now, let's get started! We already have a one detailed video on how to create a login form available on our channel. However, since the JetForm Builder plugin got updated to the 3.0 version, in this tutorial I'd like to show you a different approach. Instead of building two forms separately, we will place both login and reset password forms within just one form using the render state feature. Although this tutorial will be also helpful for those of you who still want to have separate forms as the process of building them is almost the same. By the way, if you missed our recent JetForm Builder plugin features and updates video, go ahead and check it out. So what you might need for this tutorial? Of course, the JetForm Builder plugin installed and also the user login add-on that is available for all pro users. In addition, you have to set up SMTP for sending emails, otherwise a user won't get an email with a reset password link, so keep that in mind. And you can use any third-party plugin of your choice. Now proceed to JetForm Builder and add a new form. Enter its title, for example, Login and Reset Password Form. Delete all the default fields. Basically, the form will have this structure. There will be two conditional blocks, a block for the login form and the other block for the reset password one. And these two blocks will be set to different states. To make it possible for a user to switch between two forms without leaving the page, we will also add two more buttons and set them up to switch states. It may seem a bit complicated, but don't worry, I will show you how to set up everything step by step. Let's start with adding a conditional block. Inside this block, add a heading. And two text fields. One for username and the second field for password. Make sure you put the right field labels and form field names. Also, choose the proper field type for the password field. Don't forget to activate is required for the necessary fields. In addition, you can also add a checkbox field and name it Remember Me. This way, the user's credentials will be remembered on the website. Of course, we will need to add the action button block and change its label to, let's say, Log in. So, how to activate this render states feature and set everything up? The process is actually super simple. Select the conditional block. On the right side, you will see the block settings. Right here, under the conditions, you will see you have no conditions in this block, meaning that there are no conditions by default, so you will need to add them. Once you hover over this message, an Add New button will appear. Click on it. First of all, select Show If function right here. Now go straight to the operator and choose the last option from the list. 
is render state. The last thing you have to do here is to add a render state, for example, default state. And by the way, you can add states manually by clicking this plus sign button. OK, now we need to build a form for a password reset. For that, add one more conditional block or simply duplicate the first one. In this case, don't forget to change the heading, delete all fields, and instead add reset password fields and the reset password button blocks. Of course, we will need to set a different state for the reset password block. Select the second conditional block, add a new condition, and repeat the same steps. At first, select Show if, and then set the operator to Is Render State, and add a different state now. To add a new state, just hit this plus sign button. In my case, I will select Default State 2 from the list as I already added it before. In addition, we need to select one more state from the default ones. Reset Password. This state will make it possible to get back to the Reset Password fields when a user follows the link from the email. And we're almost done with building the forms. However, we also need buttons to switch states, right? Go back to the first block. Add an action button right under the login one and set its label to, let's say, forgot your password. And here comes the trick. In the JetForm Builder 3.0 version, you will get one more button action type. So now, except for submit form, go to previous or next page, that will be change render state action type. All you have to do is to select it and then choose the needed state in Switch State. So here I will select Default State 2 as the second conditional block is set to this state. Now repeat the same steps for the Reset Password form. Add an action button, set its label to, for example, Get Back to Login Form. Button action type will be change render state, and for this one, I will select the state of the first conditional block. Okay, we're done with the hardest part. Let's take a short break and, guys, share your thoughts in the comments now. Was it confusing or easy as pie? And now, let's take a closer look at the reset password form. If you were wondering how we add new password and confirm new password fields and where to find them, the form already has these fields. Select Reset Password Fields block. Under the block settings, you will see two states. Default, that you can see right now, and once you switch to Reset State, you will see that now we have input new password and confirm new password fields, as well as a new button that says reset password. This way you will be able to customize the fields and button labels if needed. Oh, by the way, the reset state fields won't be visible to the users until they follow the link provided in the email. Lastly, to make the forms work properly, we need to set the post-submit actions. First of all, once the reset password fields block is added, the reset password post-submit action will be added automatically. To access the action settings, just click on the added reset password action button under the states switcher. Firstly, the needed fields will be already pre-filled, so you don't need to select them manually. 
Moreover, you will be able to customize the messages for the passwords mismatch and incorrect login slash email. By default, this action sends a standard email to reset the password. If you want to customize this email to suit your needs, you just need to activate this option Add Custom Reset Password Email and then click on Edit Custom Email. This step is optional if you are building this form separately from the login form and don't use Render State. Otherwise, don't forget to activate it and hit Edit Custom Email. In the following Edit Action window, you will be able to adjust the needed fields like mail to, from field, reply to, as well as the email message right here. Once you activate this action, you will be automatically redirected to the JetForm tab with the unfolded Post Submit Actions section. So, as you can see, we already have a reset password and the send email actions. You can also edit them by clicking this pencil-shaped icon. Now I need a bit of your attention here and then we will finally check the forms on the front end. Since we have a login form here, we also need to add an action for it. Hit the new action button and select user login from the list. Choose the corresponding field for the user login user password field and also remember me field. The post submit actions are always executed in a certain order. But how to make the form not to execute them all at once? For example, we don't need a user login action to be performed when clicking the reset password button, right? JetForm Builder allows you to set different conditions and events for the actions. So the login form is placed inside the block that is set to the default state. To make sure the user login action is executed only for this state, click on the Edit Conditions and Events button right here and proceed to the Events Match tab. Set the event to ON and then pick the right state. In my case, it will be set to ON default state. Don't forget to hit Update. Now we need to repeat the same step with the rest of the actions. Edit conditions for the send email and set it to the state that matches the state of the second conditional block. In my case, it is on default state 2. The same state I will choose for reset password post submit action. And in addition, for this one, we also need to add on reset password event. And besides, you are also free to add redirect to page action and set it, let's say, to my account or any other page. And don't forget to style the blocks using the JetStyle Manager. And once you're done, publish the form. Before we proceed, here is just a reset password form. There are the same Reset Password Fields block and the Reset Password button. In this case, you will have only one Post Submit Action Reset Action with no additional conditions and events. Now, of course, to see the login form on the front end, you will need to create a page, for example, Login Page, and place the form using the JetForm widget. And by the way, you will be also able to style the form's elements in the Elementor as well. Here is the form on the front end. First of all, I will try logging in 
and it works perfectly. And you can see that I can access my account page, but let me log out and switch the form now. Here is the forgot your password button and right under the reset password form, a user will be able to click the second button and get back to login form in a second. To check how the reset password action works, I will enter my email address and hit submit. At the same time, I will receive a new email with the link to reset my password. Once clicked, it will redirect me to the same page, however, now there are only new password fields. I will enter a different password this time and log in using the same form. And there is nothing else to say. You can see the result. Maybe the process is a bit complicated. However, a combination of the Jetform Builder plugin and one of its pro add-ons gives you an endless number of options. And don't forget to check the links in the description down below, leave your comments, smash the like button, and of course, make sure you are subscribed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.